So you might be running into this problem on your iPhone where it says it just cannot connect to iTunes store. Now, what does this mean? Well, this can happen for tons of different reasons, but I just ran into this on my iPad out of all devices. And it was a very weird thing because the prompt was so annoying and it just wouldn't go away. I had to actually restart my phone in order, or my iPad to actually you know, fix it. The thing that ended up fixing it for me though, after restarting it, was to verify and recheck my network connection settings. Now, what does that mean? Well, essentially, if you go ahead and make your way over to your settings, you wanna make sure you're connected to a Wi-Fi connection or you have data, you know, like T-Mobile, AT&T, whatever you have. And then you wanna try just opening up, you know, certain you know, app stores or certain new websites that require internet connection. So if you wanna go ahead and make your way to your Safari browser and you wanna open up apple.com, just see if you can open it up. If you can open it up and everything's loading fine, then that's pretty much step one. But if nothing is loading, and you're getting into a bunch of issues there, well then and that is probably why you're having issues. You just wanna make sure that you're not having any internet connection problems in that standpoint, and that will probably end up fixing it for you. Now, let's say for some reason, you are able to open up Safari and there's no issues there. Well, the next thing you may just wanna make sure for the most part is to just make sure and verify that your internet connection set the next thing I'd recommend doing is making sure that you're logged into an iTunes account. So if you go up here and you go into iCloud right here, you wanna make sure you're logged into an account, make sure that you're able to click up there and it doesn't prompt you to type in a password or anything like that. Maybe you forgot to type in your password when you were opening up the iTunes store. That can also be a problem that sometimes happens. Now, another thing I would recommend doing at this point too is to update your iPhone. So go inside of your iPhone settings right there, scroll down into general, which is right here, and what you want to do is you want to click on software update. So what you want to do at this point is once an update is available like this, go ahead and download and install that update just like so. Go ahead and click on agree. And what you want to do here is you want to go ahead and just update this you know, iPhone. And that could end up fixing the situation too. And I'll be honest, that will probably end up fixing it for the majority of people out there. So and that kind of covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, love me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.